In 2020, I, something went wrong in my back and I was taken to hospital by ambulance, which as you can imagine in 2020 was a bit frightening because nobody could go with me. Um, and the symptoms, they were very concerned that it was um, a condition which would mean that they would have to operate within a few hours, otherwise I'd be paralyzed from the waist down. And um, so they transferred me to another hospital to have an emergency MRI. I don't like small spaces, so I was really, really frightened. I was also in incredible amount of pain, and so to lie for quite a long time in the MRI. So I'm quite anxious about that. So um, I go in the M MRI. It's a, it's a big tunnel, yes. Head first, small space eyes tight closed, praying in tongues the whole time, and just, just really trying to lie still and just praying and praying and praying. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I just felt somebody kiss my forehead, and I just felt this complete sense of peace. Now you're in a tunnel that's only got room for you. Yeah, no, there's nobody else in there. And I opened my eyes, and I, I didn't feel scared anymore. And then as soon as that happened, they brought me out of the MRI. And they start checking you over, because they check you before you go in to make sure you've got no metal on you. Start checking me all over again, and, you know, to see if there's no metal, and there's no metal. Um, and he said, something interfered with the MRI. We've got to do it again. <laughs> But at that, this, this, it's immediately after I had this experience, they had to bring me out of the tunnel because something inter interfered with the MRI. And they put me back in the MRI, and I saw the neurosurgeon afterwards, and he said, There's, we don't need to do any surgery, you're fine, you can go home. <laughs>